Well, it's Thursday already. Can you believe it? It's time for ELA. We're going to get today started with a really fun story. One of my favorites. It's called Double Trouble in Walla Walla. And it's got lots of double words in it you're about to find out. And uh, some of the words don't make sense. Some of them do. Some of them are just made up. And I want you, as we look at this story together, I want you to think about the double words. And I want you to see if any of these double words would describe you. Because when we get done with the story, you're going to go to the assignment and you're going to type in a double word that describes you. And then you're going to tell me three reasons that that double word would describe you. So are you ready to read the story? Double Trouble in Walla Walla. Here we go. The author's Andrew Clements, and it's illustrated by Salvatore Murdaka. It was an ordinary Monday in an uh, ordinary morning, Monday morning in Walla Walla, until Lulu raised her hand in class. Miss Bell, I feel like a nitwit. My homework is all higgledy piggledy. Last night it was in tip top shape, but now it's a big mishmash. Miss Bell said, nitwit, higgledy piggledy, mishmash. Lulu, stop that flip flop chitter chatter or you'll be in double trouble. Lulu said, but I'm not trying to flip flop chit chat. I just have an itty bitty problem with my homework. Miss Bell scowled. All right for you, Lulu. If you're going to shilly shally and dilly dally with this fancy smancy yak yak, then we'll just have to trip trot, trot down to the principal's office. Miss Bell hurried Lulu down to the hall and they burst into the principal's office. Look at the words everybody's saying there. Read those words. Okay, next page. Mr. Thomas said, what's all the hubbub about? Miss Bell said, Lulu's been trying to razzle-dazzle me with some kind of lippity-loppity jibber-jabber, and now I'm all helter-skelter myself. Mr. Thomas raised his eyebrows. Tut-tut, sounds like silly willy hocus-pocus to me. Miss Bell's mouth dropped open. She pointed to the principal and said, Eka Freka, Lulu's got your tongue all topsy-turvy too. Now, now, don't get the gym jams, Miss Bell. Let's give the nurse a you who. Mr. Thomas picked up his phone and said, Miss Carter, I'm going to pitter-patter over to your office. Okie dokie. Oh, I gotta move my picture. All three went across the hall to the nurse's office. Oh, let me go back, sorry. All three went across the hall to the nurse's office. Mr. Thomas said, howdy doody, Miss Carter. We're a little wacko wacko. Lulu's got us talking this sing song clap trap like we're cuckoo. Mr. Carter smiled at Lulu and said, Miss Carter smiled at Lulu and said, fiddle faddle. Lulu and I are palsy wowsies. She wouldn't try that kind of phony baloney, tutti fruity flim flam. Lulu and her teacher and the principal stared at the nurse. Lulu said, wowsy zowsy. Miss Bell said, Jeepers Creepers. And Mr. Thomas said, Holy moly, you're in the same hodgepodge we are. I better give the superintendent a jingle jangle chop chop. Wait one ding dang tick tock, shouted the nurse. If you chit chat with a big wig, then he'll yak yak like Lulu too. If we're not very, very hush hush about this, there could be a Mongo Mongo brain drain and everybody in Walla Walla will be talking like a herky jerky ding a ling. Then the nurse turned to Lulu. Lulu, let's get to the nitty gritty. When did all this mumbo jumbo start? Lulu gulped. She said, in English class, I had an itsy bitsy problem with my homework. And then zip zap. Miss Bell started talking like this was a no no. The nurse looked over the top of her glasses at Lulu. Something like this would just not happen willy-nilly. Now, Lulu, think extra, extra hard and tell me what you did yesterday. Read those words that she says there. All right, here we go. Well, said Lulu, it was really a humdrum day. I was practicing ballet in my tutu when my little brother Bobo asked me to play with him on the teeter-totter. We seesawed until Bobo slipped off and got a boo-boo and started to boo-hoo. Mama and Papa came rushing pell-mell, so I went inside and splish-splashed in the rub-a-dub-tub. Then hip-hopped on my cuddly-wuddly Betty-Betty. I said night-night to Mama and Papa and Bobo and fell asleep in a snip-snap. That's all I did. Honest. Whew. Miss Carter said, Lulu, it seems to me that you've opened a knock em sock em ribble wobble word warp. I usually don't believe in this kind of hoodoo bunko junko, 
But if it was going to happen anywhere, it would probably happen right here in Walla Walla, Miss Bell said. Let's not quibble quabble, Miss Carter. I'm getting the heebie jeebies from all this razzmatazz. What can we do? We should say all the rootin' tootin' crinkum crinkum wooly bully words we can think of. Maybe that will clear the air and close the warp. Worth a try, asked Miss Nurse Carter. Miss Thomas said, aye aye. Miss Bell said, let's do si do. And Lulu said, uh huh. Nurse Carter at closed the door to her office. Then she turned around and said, Lulu, let's get this harem scarum show on the road. Oh no, this is going to be fun. Lulu stood right up and blurted out, Ticky tacky knick knack, coochie coochie coo. Hubba hubba Roger Dodger ooey gooey goo. <laughs> Miss Carter cleared her throat and said, Hugger mugger hobnob, pit a patter bon bon, wishy washy squish squash, handy dandy mish mosh. Mr. Thomas closed his eyes and started slowly, but picked up speed. Eensy beensy choo choo, teeny teeny, teeny tiny hurdy gurdy, roly poly ragtag, hurly burly riff raff, rumble tumble hip hop, teeny weeny pit up, pit top, namby pamby hippity nippity, hoity toity hot shot. Boy, that's hard. And then Miss Bell stood up and took a deep breath. <gasps> put, put, vroom, vroom, honk, honk, zoom, zoom, zigzag, clank, clank, slam, bam, fender, bender, ringy, dingy, clang, clang, cling, clang, ring a ding, boing, boing, ring a ling, zing, zing, bing, bang, boom, never, never, wigwam, turkey, lurkey, tom, tom, tootsie, wootsie, tittle, tattle, tee, ee, ee. <sighs> I'm out of breath. And then without a warning, Words flooded the air. Fuzzy wuzzy, fuddy duddy, loosey goosey, lovey dovey, kissy kissy, huggy huggy, rink a dink a do, ga ga, ra ra, go go, so so, fro fro, goo goo, poo poo, woo woo, rinky dinky, arf arf, argy bargy, woof woof, boogie woogie, bow wow, super duper, pooper scooper, clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity, clickity clackity, rickety rackety, blah blah blah, ba ba ba, ha ha ha. Clip, clop, drip, drop, click, clack, rick, rack, eager beaver, lucky ducky, comfy, dumpy, fat cat, hee haw, tweet, tweet, chirp, chirp, cheep, cheep, cluck, cluck, quack, quack, yuck, yuck, yuck. Wow, that's a lot of words. Bozo, yo, yo, heyday, mayday, hokey, pokey, hanky, panky, goody, goody, yum, yum, yummy, yummy, tum, tum, jimmy, gimme, gobble, gobble, jimmy, belly, dum, dum. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, better had a oughta. Sh ship shape, soap pump, achy breaky doodad. Fi fi, my my, rag bag, tie dye, beep beep, ho ho, paw paw, dodo, root a toot, zoot suit, looky looky, local yokel. Voodoo, boob toot, boo moo, poo poo, cling clang, yin yang, ching chang, wing ding, pow wow, cow tow, peg leg, jet set. <gasps> Georgie porgy, hunk a monk a henny penny, humpty dumpty. Whew, this is getting hard. And then suddenly, silence. Lulu, Miss Bell, and Mr. Thomas slumped into chairs, and Miss Carter flopped onto the cot against the wall. Was it over? No one dared to speak. Lulu whispered, Miss Carter, may I please have a drink of water? Mr. Carter sat up and said, Of course you may, dear. Miss Bell smiled weakly at the principal and said, You were magnificent, sir. Mr. Thomas perked up and smiled at everyone. He straightened his tie and said, I think we've done it, people. Miss Carter sat down at her desk and went back to checking over her posture records. Mr. Thomas walked across the hall to his office and went back to the letter he was writing. Lulu followed Miss Bell down the hallway and soon had her English homework all straightened out. And after English, it was just an ordinary Monday in Walla Walla. Bye-bye, Miss Ding Dong. Ta-ta, Lulu. And that's the end of the story. Did you enjoy that? Maybe you'll want to go back and try to read that. You can mute me and try to read those stories on your own, that, that story on your own. That's a lot of fun to say, try to say those words. Some of those are funny. So which one of those words, and you can go back through these slides and Look at them again if you need to. Which one of those double words that were in this story, in of any of them, or make up your own, describes you best? What do you think? 
All right, go to your assignments now and complete the assignment and tell me which double word describes you best. Bye-bye.